Good morning, Facebook family, and welcome to our Mondays Reflect and Revive. This morning, I want to share scripture out of Jeremiah chapter 1, verses 4 through 10. Um, I don't know. I just want to share because I know that we all have a call, and I know when we have a call, God equips. So, verse 4, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, first of all, take note, the word of the Lord called unto me saying you know it's not man that calls us it's not this world that calls us but it's the voice of the lord that calls us verse 5 before i formed thee in the belly i knew thee and before thou cameth forth out of the womb i sanctified thee and i ordained thee a prophet unto the nations verse 6 then said i ah lord god behold i cannot speak for i am a child you know, we all come up with excuses. Verse 7, But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. You know, God is quick um, to get after us and point us in the right direction. You know, he has a, a specific instruction when he calls us to do something. Verse 8, be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, saith the Lord. You know, it, again, it doesn't matter what man thinks. It doesn't matter what this world thinks. It doesn't matter um, what you're saying. As long as it is from God, he is the one that will keep you. And then verse 9 says, Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. You know, sometimes we're so quick to speak because we want to say what we're saying. But if we're, if we're just patient and listen and discern the voice of the Holy Spirit, then what we are speaking is straight from God. Our mouth is just a mouthpiece for him, but the words are from him. Verse 10, it says, See, I have this day set thee over nations and over kingdoms. He has a special purpose for each and every one of his children that is called to ministry. It says to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Back in the days... They were all led and inspired by the Holy Spirit, which is true today. But what I'm saying is it wasn't men. It wasn't men calling out these prophets. It was God himself calling them out. The word, of, the word that God uses for his calling is, I formed thee. It's not just for Jeremiah. It's for me and you. I sanctified thee. That means that he set us apart. I ordained thee. He appointed us. Jeremiah had a purpose in his life before conception. So do we. It says God knew him before he was in his mother's belly. The same for us. He was assigned the ministry task of a prophet, God's spokesman to the nations, to all people. You know, we sometimes have that gift of the prophet to be able to proclaim God's good news he has declared the word of the Lord. We have to declare the word of the Lord, whether it is received as good news or as bad news by the hearers. Our place is to share what God has given us. God by his spirit empowers and makes able those he calls. Our human fragility, shortcomings, inabilities, and reluctance are overcome by God's power. Receive and believe the truth. You have a call, you have a purpose, just like Jeremiah did, and God will equip, equip you for that purpose. In Jesus' name, be blessed and have a great Monday.